Hello everyone, this is uh, Alcides here and today I'm going to work in my car. Uh, my car has a little issue right now. Uh, it's leaking oil in the in this side of the gaskets of the motor in the overhead. So every time I, I, I use in the car it smells like a little burn uh, oil. So it smells bad and also it's, I know that it's leaking. So it's not dropping any, any drops in the floor right now. But, um, the drops getting into the uh, exhaust is making this burn. So at the same time, I'm gonna change the gaskets of the motor. I'm gonna use the time to change also the vanos and the vanos because it's making a little sounds like a rrr, it's called rattlesnake or sounds like a rattlesnake. Make a, a funny, a funny noise when you push the gas and also the in the lower RPM it doesn't have enough uh, a lot of power I used to and here is all the all the pieces they're gonna use to do all the all the work so I have the uh, the gaskets for uh, the vanos part and this is all the parts that I'm gonna use this is for the pistons for uh, the vanos so I just bought a, a brand new parts and also uh, this is the oil rings that I'm gonna use to uh, change inside the, the pistons so inside the part where the panels are and this is all the gaskets thing that I'm gonna use and also you will need a silicone uh, to put in the corner so you cannot uh, have any any leak anymore so that's gonna be today I have my tool set up over here I have also uh, uh, what else so Let's see, I'll show you what is my setup right here. I'm from in my garage. And uh, hopefully you like the video that I'm gonna make today. And this is uh, Alec, and I'm just trying to fix my car, okay? I will show you what is the details as soon as I go fixing my car. Thanks. First of all, you have to actually uh, remove the uh, filter area. It's just right here. You take those uh, latches over here. You move the bar. You have another one right here, and another one right here. I already remove it. Just take it out. Take this part out, and you will find a filter. And you can buy a new filter and just change the part. So this one is still new. So everything is good. Just gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna use it right now. So, and there is a. Uh, screws that you have to remove is right here just take it out all those ones are already removed so make it easier for you and the video doesn't go too long and uh, just uh, remove the last one let's see this one that has to go all around just uh, halfway and remove all those ones and you will see this part can move out then you have to remove too is this part over here you see I just remove it and this one come out right away okay so after you remove all the screws that is there here and also here uh, just you can just take the tray out so this tray is it's gonna be in your way, so just put it somewhere. You're not gonna use it for now, so it's no, it's not in the way. And you see the parts are how. So you're gonna take this cap over here and this one over here too. Just take it out and and uh, just have to take all the parts in front and on top of the motor and just dip this screw over here, a flat one like this. Just dip it there. Take the little cap out, and you will find a little. Uh, not already take it out, but it's, this one is still here. So I'm just gonna remove it right here. It has one over there. It has a 
another right here and it has another over here okay and also you have to take the uh, oil lid okay right now I'm taking the last screw the last nut has to be that okay this is out you can just remove this bar over here after it's out you can remove this part too in a couple minutes okay just put it here where nobody can touch it uh -huh. and you can remove this part as well so this is all the covers and this is my beautiful garden right here. I can show you a little bit. So just now I was just talking about cars, you know, we can talk about gardens too. This is my tomatoes, my chilies. I have my beautiful chilies over here all the time, you know. This is gonna be about cars and vegetables and how to grow things. <laughs> this is nice, yeah. I have my trash right there too. This is my beautiful kitchen. And let's go back to the car. Here we go. So I have everything set right here. So this is the parts. So you have to remove all those stuff right now. Remove it. Remove all those ones. So you can take this part out a couple of minutes. All right, let me see. So I just taking the last screw, one of those in the middle. So just go all around. You have to use a uh, this kind of tool, but um, just just make a little loose, and I put everything in my bucket right here. And also has a little uh, like a little washer that you have to take it off too. And you can see I uh, still start to show some leaking over there let's see yeah it's right there look at that let's see look at that boy leaking out <laughs> mother mother I just took that one too and you gotta take this one down too this guy this big boy all those big boy around 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 my friends and hopefully you learn reggae music and here and uh, chilling out bye bye so this is the gas that we're gonna change so just have all the parts right here just has to put it in a safe location somewhere uh, you're gonna throw it away later so keep it somewhere that way uh, nobody anyone okay we're gonna go on it. we're gonna keep going working on the car see you later hi right, okay uh, I just take the banners out from the car so I just have it here right now and it's just be careful because it has a lot of oil you have to make sure you work in some area so you for one of those start with the with the right one if you go right here you can see uh, I have removed all the nuts from that so make sure uh, uh, you have all the pieces ready for example this is the rings the old rings we're gonna change and we're gonna open right now the panels. So after you remove it, be careful like this. This is the cover cylinder. You have to have all the parts going here too. And the panels is right here as you see. Uh, it's really strong actually. But it has a little wobbly right here, you see? It's, that's where it makes the sound. Alright? This is the cylinder. So we're gonna change the uh, the gaskets over there with the new ones right here. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna do today. And we're gonna take this part out to change the old rims inside. So this is the cylinder of the vanos, if you notice. If you notice, if it moves like this, it's because the 
the silicone uh, chrome or I think it's kind of copper ring is waste so it's already being wear out and that's why a thousand RPM we go ta 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 so those are the rings that we're gonna use. Okay. Okay, uh, we just take out the old piece. This is like a little metal gasket. They go right here. I just put a new one right here. So uh, this is the new gasket. I just put in place, it came with the kit. So all the motor is already clean out on the top. So I clean everything to mount the new uh, old, uh, gasket on it and uh, we're gonna put the cover today all right I have all the parts right here so this is all the parts that uh, I take out from from the car all right I just uh, replaced the gasket this is the new part I just take out the old part so this part we're gonna save it and I have my my uh, banners ready to to mount the back. So this is the piece of the banners. I chain the cylinders gaskets inside. So the old rings is already changed and everything. I just mount the back. So we're gonna mount this one back. Just uh, make sure sometimes it can get spilled. You put it in the right place. And everything it will go exactly as how it is. All right. So this is the panels, and I just gonna start to screw in everything apart, and I will show you later. So. Me, go. So after you mount your uh, uh, panels, you have to make sure everything is really really tight for the ones here you don't have to tie it too much it looks like it never ends so after it's done after you tie everything you have to make sure to to clean it up a little bit here these areas because we're going to mount a uh, silicone just in the corners so you're going to take something like this you're going to just uh, rub it right there so it's gonna be something like this make sure there's not gonna be any leak all right Alright, just in the corners, all around, okay.